Hi, my name is Estefan from DSL Telecom and today I'll be showing you how to set up your new Telcom 5G router and personalize your settings. Right, so the first thing that you'd like to do is you want to grab your laptop and then go to the bottom of your screen, navigate all the way to the right to your network settings, then look for your Wi-Fi name. Now you can find your Wi-Fi name on the back of the router where it says SSID and then your Wi-Fi name will follow. Click on the Wi-Fi name, say connect, it's going to ask you for a Wi-Fi password. Now you will see on the back of your router as well, your, uh, underneath SSID, it will say Wi-Fi password. You can just type that in. Once it is connected and secured, you can then navigate to your browser on your computer. Now we want to access the router's graphical user interface. So you would like to open up your browser and then at the top address bar, type in the IP address that you will find on the back of your router. You'll see it is on this model. It is 192.168.8.1 and just press enter. You'll be greeted by a screen that says welcome to 5G CPE Max 3 and it's going to ask you to type in your admin username and password. You'll find the admin username and password also on the back of the router. This model's username and password is admin. You can just click login. You'll be greeted with a CPE privacy statement can please read through this. Once you do agree with the statement, you can just say, I have read and agreed to the privacy notice. You can say next. And then you'll be uh, greeted also with a mobile broadband device user agreement. Please read through this. And then once you are ready, you can just say agree. It will ask you to update overnight. You can also just say continue on this. This would help updating your routers firmware. Your router is going to ask you to set your device login password. Now the reason why we want to change the login password is because the admin password that is currently on your router is not very secure so I would suggest changing this to something memorable. Uh, this is just for added security. Say finish. To customize your router further and we're going to want to change our Wi-Fi name and password. We're going to navigate to advanced and then click on Wi-Fi security settings. We're going to go to options, click on that icon over here. And then where it says Wi-Fi name, we can change it to anything. I'm going to change my Wi-Fi name to anything memorable to me. I'm going to say, hello, YouTube. And then Wi-Fi password, you can change this to anything you'd like. You can see it's currently still set to the default. So we're going to change it to something memorable. And make it strong. You can just say save when you're happy with your password and you've written that down. Right now, once your settings have changed, you'll see the names haven't changed here on the screen just yet. But the reason for that is, is because the route is actually disconnected. Now you would like to navigate to your connections at the bottom of your screen again. Look for your new Wi-Fi name. You'll see here it's Hello YouTube. I'm going to say connect. And then just type in your new password. Once we are connected and secured, we can just navigate to our browser again, just to test and see if the network is connecting properly. We're going to just search for anything. And this confirms that we are up and running. Now, if this video was helpful in any way, or if you like these types of videos, do leave a comment down below, like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next one.